Hello, everyone. Welcome to our small library. We together reading today is Ox Cartman by Donald Hall. Pictures by Barbara Cooney. The 1979 Carl Comedal. Ox Cartman. In October, he backed his ox into his cart. Annie and his family filled up with everything they made or grew all year long that was left over. He felt a bag of wool he shared from the ship in Africa. He felt a shawl his wife wove on a room from yarn spun at the spinning wheel from sheep shared in Africa. He felt five pairs of mittens he still need from yarn spun at the spinning wheel from sheep shared in Africa. He packed candles the family made. He packed linen made from flax they grew. He packed singers he spread himself. He packed birch brooms his son carved with a broad kitchen knife. He packed potatoes they dug from their garden. But first he counted our potatoes enough to eat all winter and potatoes for seed next spring. He packed a barrel of apples, honey and honeycombs, turnips and cabbage, a wooden box of maple sugar from the maples they tapped in March. One day boiled and boiled and boiled the sap away. He packed a bag of goose feathers that his children collected from the barnyard geese. When his cart was full, he waved goodbye to his wife, his daughter, and his son. And he walked at his ox's head ten days. Over hills, through valleys, by streams, vast farm and villages. Until he came to Fortmouth and Fortmouth Market. He sold the bag of wool. He sold the shawl his wife made. He sold five pairs of mittens. He sold candles and singers. He sold birch brooms. He sold potatoes. He sold apples. He sold honey and honeycombs, turnips and cabbage. He sold maple sugar. He sold a bag of goose feathers. Then he sold the wooden box he carried the maple sugar in. Then he sold the barrel he carried the apples in. Then he sold the bag he carried the potatoes in. Then he sold his ox cart. Then he sold his ox and kissed him goodbye on his nose. Then. He sold his ox's yoke and harness. With his pockets full of coins, he walked through Fosmus Market. He bought an iron kettle to hang over the fire at home. And for his daughter, he bought an embroidered needle that came from a boat in the harbor that had sailed all the way from England. And for his son, he bought a barrel knife for carving birch brooms with. And for the whole family, he bought two pounds of wintergreen peppermint candies. Then he walked home with the needle and the knife and the wintergreen peppermint candies tucked into the kettle. And a stick over his shoulder, 
stuck. Throw the cactus handle and coins still in his pockets. Fast farms and villages over hills, throw valleys, by streams. Until he came to his farm, and his son, his daughter, and his wife were waiting for him. And his daughter took her needle and began stitching, and his son took his barrel knife and started waiting, and they cooked dinner in their new cattle. And afterward, everyone ate a wintergreen peppermint candy, and then night the ox cart man sat in front of his fire. Sting knew her knees for the young ox in the barn. And he carved a new yoke and served plants for a new cart and split the singers all winter. While his wife made the plants into linen all winter and his daughter embroidered linen all winter and his son carved Indian brooms from birch or winter, and everybody made candles. And in March they tap the sugar maple trees and boil the sap down. And in April they shared the sheep, spun yarn, and oof and knitted. And in May they planted potatoes, turnips, and cabbages, while apple blossoms bloomed and fell. While bees woke up, starting to make a new honey. And a geese squirted in the barnyard, dropping feathers as soft as clouds. The end. Did you have a funny story? Thank you for listening. Ox Cartman, the end. Bye bye. See you next time.